You're right, this is going to be a part two of um, the DVD and Blu-ray update. Um, there's a mixed bag here of um, oh, Hong Kong, Korean, um, some Arrow releases, um, and a lot, a lot of other stuff besides. Um, first up, um, I'm going to go some, through some of the um, Hong Kong DVDs I got. Uh, I've got Shanghai 13. This is a really, really entertaining one. We've got a really good cast in this. Um, a lot of the cast as well did it as a favour to uh, an aging Chang Che. Uh, Jimmy Wang Yu, Chen Quan Tai, uh, T Lung, Andy Lau, uh, got a real good cast. It's kind of episodic uh, the way it plays out. Uh, the best, the best part of it is easy with um, with Beardy and the fight in the home. But there's a there's a there's a fantastic fight as well. At the end in a warehouse. It's a, it's a really entertaining one. Definitely check that out. Um, I also picked up. I'll show a few more of these in another update. But um. I managed to get a good deal, someone off uh, Kung Fu forums, it's closed down now, uh, for a while at least, which is it's a shame, um, really really rare, um, show up with the titles, uh, we've got um, too long in there, The Drug Addicts, kind of a weird one, um, you know, it's, it's pretty good here and there, it's, it's, uh, I enjoyed it for what it was, it was um, Kind of like a social commentary on like kind of drug use. It was, it was pretty good. Now, what I haven't watched yet, which I am looking forward to watching, is uh, Delightful Forest. That looks real good. Uh, got a Chen Quan Tai one up here. He turns on his gang. It's not bad. It's got some pretty funny moments. The ending's slight disappointing. Uh, slight disappointment, sorry. Um, this is uh, The Bloody Escape. I like Chen Quan Tai. But it's probably not one of his best. Uh, now, this one, this one is insanely rare. Um, I've only ever. It's. I think I've only ever seen it once. I think I saw it once on eBay, and I missed out on it. Um, and even I don't think it was the Sester release. It was it's the uh, the criminals. Uh, yeah, I think it's an anthology. This one. I think that this is really really hard to get. I mean, I, I got this. I got them all for a, a, a decent price. And uh, this is uh, David Chang and the Condemned. Absolutely amazing ending. The end is just brilliant. Of this. It's fantastic. It's, it's a really, really good one. I thoroughly enjoyed that. I really, would really recommend that 100%. Um, right. I've got a mixture of stuff here. First of all, I've got a Peter Cushing film. Uh, Grindhouse release. Which is, you know, it's a pack of extras. It's a fantastic release. It's uh, Corruption. Kind of a weird one. Cushing playing a... It's slightly it's perverse. Uh, stars as a surgeon, uh, driven to murder and madness. Fantastic thing up here. I don't know if you can read that, but uh, I can't really focus properly. Maryland Herald's and a devastating orgy of slaughter. That would be an amazing name for a film. That. No, it's, uh, but yeah, um, I look forward to watching. So I'm a big fan of Cushion. Um, yeah, I look forward to seeing that. I, I also picked up Michael Reeves' uh, film. Uh, guy did a uh, witch finder general. Only real, really young at the time as well, man. Um, uh, we've got uh, The Sorcerers, Boris Karloff, Ian Ogilvy, real good one this, you haven't checked this out, tremendous film, Boris Karloff's a great actor man, uh, it's the William Henry Pratt I think his true name was, he's a fantastic actor, uh, got Night of the Big Heat with uh, Peter Cush and Christopher Lee, it's another good one, absolutely love these guys, it's just, you know, just Lee dying recently man, it's just, uh, sad man, but you know, I mean, he lived an absolutely fantastic life, you know. So, you know, I miss him, but you know, just uh, yeah, just missed, you know, he's an absolute legend, real hero. Uh, we've got Island of Terror, lovely cover out that, really like that. No, I haven't had a chance to check this one out yet. Lovely cover out that, that's fantastic, love that cover out. I don't think anybody does it. I, I can't think of many people that wouldn't like Cushing, you know. Real, just uh, tremendous talent. We have from Network, Hardy Kruger and the one that got away. It's a tremendous film, this Hardy Kruger, man. We're all just... Real badass actor. I've always liked Hardy. Absolutely loved him in Wild Geese. If you've ever seen Wild Geese, you know you know he's in Wild Geese. Uh, yeah, it's 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 a uh, just tremendous film, man. Definitely check that out. That's a really good one. Now this film I, I I've never watched. This is during the, the twilight years of Marlon Brando before he came back and did uh, Last Tango in Paris and Godfather. Uh, it always made me laugh when I hear about Michael Winner coming to see him, basically saying, "Look, I'm a 
average director and you're a fantastic actor just do what you like <laughs> you come and do this film it's uh, The Night Comers it's uh, sort of a semi sort of, well not really a semi it's a, a prequel as such to um, uh, The Innocents which is a tremendous film it scares the crap out of me I can't watch that That one film man there's, there's certain films I literally do not want to watch by myself The Innocents is one of them it always creeps me the hell out it really does but uh, yeah he plays the uh, the guy who corrupts, um, particularly the boy, if you've seen a, uh, if you've ever seen the film The Innocence or read the book, uh, Henry James is uh, turning the screw. Yeah, I look forward to watching that. I like Winner, man. I, I, you know, you get to kind of get shit on. I think he's done some tremendous stuff. He's got a good output. Um, we have the three disc set of, uh, well, just an absolute classic. I should really have this before. Um, Dracula. It's with that Peter Cush in Dracula, you know, just at the top. You think Lee's name would be there? Um, oh, it's just tremendous. I actually, you know what? It's, it's really weird. I've always considered Lee like the best Dracula. It's weird, and there's been many like incarnations of him. I know people talk about, um, well, you know, various kind of names with it, but I, I just think Lee's the most menacing. When you see him with the contacts in his eyes, in this with just the anger on his face, he's just an absolute, absolute menace. It's a brilliant film as well. Really good. We did the best version to get as well. Absolutely just jam packed of extras. Absolute classic film. I love it. Really, really good. There's another good one. This is Arrow. This is Arrow near the end, I think. I'm sure this was around 71 or 2. A little bit later. And they were obviously trying to make um, a bit of a franchise out of this. It's Captain Cronus Vampire Hunter. Horse Jansen playing Captain Cronus. I really, really like this film, man. I, I really did. I, I, I thought it was... I've heard some kind of bad reviews here and there about, about it, but I think it had a good story. And you could see... It, you could tell it was the first in a in a in in a, in a line of films. You know, you know they wanted. They're definitely going to make a series out of this. But you know, unfortunately, Hammer was on. You know, near the end at this point. But yeah, I got this from Australia. It's it's, uh, it's really good one. Really good. I thought Horst Janssen man he had a lot of charisma playing Captain Cronus man. I've heard he's a bit wooden in place in this, but I really enjoyed it man. Really enjoyed that film. Um, and we have two hour releases I picked up. Um, absolute classic. Really like the cover art on this as well. Um, Anna the Baskervilles, uh, Cushion, Morel, Lee. Tremendous. Always at the beginning of this show in the hunt. Really good. Great film. Again, I have just absolutely just jumped out of extras. It's, you know, they, they really, they never miss a trick there. You know, it's fantastic. And this, this is a tremendous film. If you haven't checked this out, definitely watch it. An absolute, real classic uh, comedy of terrors. Um, Vincent Price. Uh, we've got just, so the, the cast in this is tremendous. Um, Carlos Immense, he's, he's really good. Peter Lorre, um, Bar Basil Rathbone as well makes me laugh. And this, it's it's just uh, the script is so witty. It's just delicious, deliciously. Uh, it's just it's just fantastic. I'm trying to think who who wrote this. Oh man, I wish I had my glasses on. And I directed by the guy the Cat People, uh, Jacques Tonnet. Oh, I know that the, the guy I know is done. I, and I can't give his name, but the script is absolutely just, just fantastic. It's just, just devilish. It's really good. If you haven't checked this, definitely check that out. Really enjoy that. Tremendous. Now, um, I picked up a few Korean titles on my YouTube. He was um, getting rid of um, a lot of his stuff. Uh, Marcus Tatiri. Um, he, he gave me a, a really good deal on three of these titles. And, you know, they've all come in excellent condition. So thanks, mate. You, you, um, you're fantastic. I'm sorry you had to sell them, to be honest. But... Um, yeah, the um, first up is uh, Paradise uh, Murdered. Uh, it's, I think it's a sort of a semi kind of, it's got comedic elements of um, people in a village being like, wiped out by um, a killer. So yeah, I look forward to uh, checking that out. We also picked up Breathless. Again, you know, these, you know, he, he gave me, you know, real good price, you know, rather, you know, they would cost a hell of a lot more for me to get them. Uh, directly from Korea as well, so and one I, I, I have been wanting to pick up for a, a long time. It's a uh, Hawaii Monster Boy. Absolutely love that cover. Art. That cover art's fantastic. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna um, check these out um, soon. I've had a bit of um, a lot of backup, like we're kind of working and stuff. I've been fairly busy of late, but I'll definitely get around to watching those. Um, I picked this up uh, just the other day, and it's a, it's even better than I remember it. It's a tremendous action film. So funny and oh, it's just over the top and fantastic, man. The acting is—it's just—it's just really good. 
101 films release of a uh, split second. Rugger Hara on the trail of a. Uh, you know, we'll say serial killer just for the most part because I don't want to spoil it, spoil the film too much. Because um, if I kind of, I don't want to reveal too much into. It, but uh, yeah, he's had his partner killed and he and he's after it. Uh, he gets put up. Some rookie gets. Um, <laughs> the name of Dick Durkin, Scottish actor called Alistair Duncan, he's tremendous in this as well. Just over the top, violent. Um, Alan Armstrong and uh, Pete Postle's way of um, smaller roles in this, they're great. Script is fantastic. This is a, one of my favourite early 90s action films, man. It's, uh, it's tremendous. It's also got um, deleted uh, footage from the, uh, I think it was shown on the, was it the Japanese, I think it could have been the laser disc. Um, yeah, there's around four minutes of uh, footage there. As an extra, so yeah, that's it's a brilliant film. If you like Rugger Howard, definitely check that out. It's it's brilliant. Um, pick this up from uh, Kino, uh, Chuck Turner, Isaac Hayes. One of my favourite Blackportation films. Um, I'd put it up there, 110th Street. I really would. Uh, it's just, it's just fantastic, man. It's it's so good. Again, the script is fantastic. Just makes me laugh so much. Um, the sit. The scene when Yafet Koto goes to the, the funeral man and just <laughs> spits on the coffin, man, it's as cold as fuck. But um, Yafet Koto, I'm always a massive fan of. One of my favourite ever, and one of the best. I'm an absolute stickler for watching dummy deaths. One of the best dummy deaths I've ever seen in a film in this. It's absolutely tremendous. Fantastic shootout as well at the hospital at the end. It's uh, just an absolute gem of a film. Definitely check that out, Chuck Turner. It's brilliant, honestly. Um, now I pick. I was going to pick up the Code Red release of this, but I decided on um, the German release, and I think I, I think I made the, the best choice in that. Um, Guy Maga uh, film uh, Retribution. Ab absolutely, I really mean this. This is probably one of my favourite horror films. Easily top fifteen of the eighties. It's Really, really good film. Really good. Got a guy artist who um, tries to commit suicide. Uh, as he hits the floor, the life goes out of him. And part of he's on the same night, a gangster has been killed, and it basically possesses him to a degree. And he, the vengeful spirit, uses him as a medium to exact his revenge on um, his murderers. Such a such a good film. I mean, there's some great gore in this. It's got the um, as an extra as well. It's got some of the uncut deaths in this. Really, really good film. Um, I can't uh, praise it enough. It's it's it, it's a really really good. One. The ending comes out a bit. Of, there's a good kind of shock bit at the end. It, I liked it to have gone on a bit longer, but uh, yeah, it's tremendous. Especially the death in the um, of the mechanic man. My God, that's. That's uh, that's real good. It's, and this this is a fantastic edition as well. Definitely check that out, man. Retribution. So you can get the you can get the code red one. I think it could be out of print now. I'm not too sure, but the German one is a. Uh, I think I think I prefer the German one. And um, the last um, I've got to show here uh, this uh, uh, Korean film. It's a uh, uh, Gangnam 1970, um, also known as a uh, Gangnam Blues. Uh, this is. Tremendous film. It takes a little bit while to get going. There's a little bit of a mismatch, a bit of a at the beginning, uh, first 15, 20 minutes or so. It takes a bit of a time to get going, but once it does, it's uh, it really gets going. Um, some of the names I was having trouble with because, like, three of the main kind of protagonists are oh god, Yang Kang and I think Wang. And I was wondering, like, who was who at certain points. I was wondering, like, okay, who's who. But uh, the story is two guys uh, really low down their luck. Um, they get drawn into a gang, get involved in a fight at some sort of. Um, uh, they try to break up an election. He gets wounded quite badly and gets taken in by another gang. He gets take, but uh, he he stays with the same gang and they pass many years apart and they they come together again. But yeah, you know, it just shows like the corruption and violence and and when I mean violence. Guns are, are, in like a lot of Korean films as well. I think if you watch Yellow Sea and Nameless Gangster, uh, to a lesser degree, Dirty Carnival. Well, if you like Dirty Carnival, you'd definitely like this. They just 
all guns go to the side, knives, hatchets. That's, I mean, there's a scene in this involving a, just a mass brawl at a funeral. The rain coming down, bodies in the mud, people, the blood and the violence and the bone breaking is just absolutely sensational. Great ending as well, man. The film, as I said, takes a little bit of a time to get going. A little time to you know, set itself up. But once it does, you know, it, it goes on for a fair bit. It's around two hours, 20 minutes, but I, I was never bored. And, and, you know, not at all. It's it's, uh, it's fantastic, fantastic film, and I'd I'd wholly recommend it if, if you if you like uh, your creating um, gangster films or gangster films in general, definitely check it out. And that is a, it's a beautiful addition as well. Absolutely brilliant film. Can't recommend it enough. Um, so yeah, that is the end of the update. That's part two. Um, I will be back with um, a part three with a mixture of kind of stuff I got from an hour of sale and a few other things. So yeah, thanks for watching, subscribing and your comments and I'll be back with another video shortly. Cheers.